This is the self-loading amphibious container tractor that we are going to be checking out today. What we're going to do is we're going to jump inside this thing. We're actually going to go ahead and drive this around and check out its capabilities. Its capabilities, of course, being the fact that it can lift a container on its butt, and uh, I'm assuming it can actually float. So, let's go ahead and jump inside and try and get this done. Open the door, yes, sit inside the seat that says tractor. Uh, turn the navi navigation lights on? I can hear a dog. I can actually hear a dog. Uh, there's a passenger seat right there. We're out of here. We're going. Nice. Don't know where the dog... Oh, I think the dog's in that corner over there. Anyway, first thing that we're going to do is try and load the container onto the back. There are containers over here, so let's go ahead and drive over there. And uh, see what happens. Also, if I press 2... Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Brilliant. Okay, so we need to try and find a container that we want to want to pick up. And then we'll pick up the container and we'll drive into the water. That's what we want to do. That is literally all I want to do today. So, turn sideways. Here we go. Oh, that was nice. That was a lovely little turn. Go ahead and reverse. Oh, oh, my reversing skills need some work, but that's okay. Go ahead and put a turn on the parking brake. Excellent. Go outside. Yes. And turn this on. Bam. Is that going to work? Hey, there we go. Nice. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and climb back on, here we go, back into the seat, close the door again, press 2, off we go. Okay, I mean that was way easier than expected, and uh, it's worked out, look at it, we're just, oh, maybe I shouldn't be driving around yet. There you go. Okay, cool, so now we're driving around, everything seems fine, very good. Will it actually float? So I'm assuming this thing is supposed to float, um, I don't really know, but uh, I think so. So let's go ahead and drive ourselves over to the water and drive ourselves in. So there's a camera there or there's a map. There's also IR for the camera as well, just in case. Uh, there's a radio and there's spotlights. There you go, that's everything that you need. Anyway, let's go ahead and drive into the water and see what it's all about. Is it any good? I think so. I think it'll be great. The only other thing that I want to test after that is actually it against waves and it against... Um, no, actually, that's pretty much it. Also, will the propellers automatically work? It automatically switches into propeller mode. That's amazing. Look at it go. Whee! Okay, so one thing I would say is the rear lights don't appear to be working, but that's probably down to something I've done. We have a heater in here as well. That's nice. We have an emergency transponder. Nice. Yeah. Is this faster in the water than it is on land? I think it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and... Um, I don't know, I, I guess do some waves. Let's go ahead and set this to 50% and see if it's okay. It seems actually legitimately completely fine. Would you look at that yet? That's nice, that's really nice. Okay, let's go with 100% because uh, there's nothing in between 50 and 100. Off we go. Okay, I mean considering it is like fully amphibious, that's not bad, I mean it is it is a bit bumpy, a little bit off balance, but again, not that bad. Can I stand outside while it's doing this, though, is the question. Here we go, I'm stood outside. The container is, of course, floating a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, we are listing a little bit too, but again, that's fine. We have a utility pump there. What's on the other side? Let's go and have a little look over here. Um, we can charge it. Okay, you can charge it from this end. Nice. Okay, so I guess the only thing I would say is that it would be nice to secure the back end down as well. But that's probably the only thing I would say, to be honest. That's crazy. That's that's really cool. Anyway, now that it is a bit windy and a bit wavy, let's try and ramp ourselves back up onto the shore. I don't know how well this is going to go, but let's go ahead and try. Here we go. So turn around. Yes. The wind is going to be hitting us sideways, which isn't the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that is not the best. But that's okay. It's dealing with it. It is totally dealing with it. So, we're going to go ahead and try and drive up the ramp here. Oh, this is a struggle. This is a bit of a struggle. So, 100% wind. It, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult, I'm not going to lie. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Or at least down to 50. There we go. And keep going. Lovely. It's totally working, guys. We're almost there. In 50%, it's actually completely fine. That's really good. That's really, really good. Um, the only thing that I want to say now is... It would be really cool if we could have it double-decked, like a double-decker one. 
I don't think that's quite possible, though. Uh, in fact, it's it's probably not possible. But still, this is really cool. Um, but at, at the same time, I don't know how how useful it actually is. Because let's say you drive this thing over to, I don't know, this dock right here. And let's stop real quick. Have a little look at this. Uh, this says it wants to go to JSI Freight Terminal. I don't actually know where that is. I'm not going to lie. Um, but reveal the map. Is that the one that's down here somewhere? Is this JSI? That's JSI Dock. Yeah, Freight Terminal. So it actually has to go all the way down to there. Now, this thing isn't really fast enough for you to want to do that. So, yeah, that's a thing. I guess if you were a little bit closer to where you needed to be, I guess it would work fully then. But in this situation... It's not really necessary. It's not really needed. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty much all of it checked off. Let's go ahead and drive it back over to where the containers are. And lower it down. And uh, drop this thing off. And here we go. The only other thing that I can actually think of doing as well is... Maybe try... I've got an idea. I've got an idea it probably won't work. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, let's go ahead and line ourselves up with this guy. Okie dokie, yes. Go ahead and press 2 so it lowers it down. Okay, right, stay there. Stay there! Okay, do 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 Can I push this? Is that possible? It is, kind of. Okay, press this button right here. Okay, this is ridiculous. I don't know whether it'll work, but let's try. So, let's go ahead and drive it forwards. Okay. Oh, it's kind of hard to... Hard to drive a little bit. I mean, it's not if you get the controls right, but... I think I just broke this thing. That was weird. I think I've just broke it. That's really strange. Okay, go ahead and push this button again. There we go. And push this button again. I don't know what just happened. That was really strange. Anyway, um... There we go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. One side attached, the other side attached. Okay, I don't know why it broke off there. I feel like that's really strange. And I wasn't expecting it, but there you go. Anyway, uh, ooh. Oh, that was kind of interesting, actually. But no, let's go ahead and ramp it backwards. I can't have it there, that's not going to work. Drive it backwards from there. No, it just bounces off straight away. I wasn't expecting that. That's so weird. That is really, really weird. I would love if we can, like, stack them twice, but unfortunately, that's not really a thing. So let's go ahead and just back up to this one again. Run outside. Run over here. Okay, turn this on. Wait, did that work? Yes, okay. One side is attached. And then bring it back on board. That's really cool. Like, the fact that it works this easily is really nice. That is really, really nice. But anyway, um, since we can't actually stack them... Wait, do we have any rope anywhere? We do have rope. We do have... We have rope. Hang on. Uh, press 2. Okay, lowers it down. Nice. Go and drive ourselves forwards. Yes. Okay, here we go. Drive backwards. Here we go. You guys may love this, and you may hate it at the same time, but who knows? Go ahead and press 1. There we go. Brakes are on. Now, what we want to do is... Attach... Wait, can we do this? Attach that to there, but also attach it to... Here, I think? I don't know which way around I need to do this. Uh, in, in respect of what I'm doing. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this one. Do the same thing. So from there all the way down to here. I don't think that's the right one. I actually think this is the right one. There we go. So disconnect it from there. Attach it to here. Okay. Okay. Is everybody ready? Everybody ready? Press 2. Okay, that's... That's not really doing what I wanted it to do, so never mind. Okay, never mind. Whee! I mean, that almost did what I wanted it to do, but there you go. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. Okay. No, we're good. <laughs> we're good. All right, well, anyway, uh, we've given this thing a good test. We know exactly what it can do now, which is awesome. A double-decker version of this would be sick. And actually, now that I'm thinking of it, it's built by GTOG and Enigma. And I know that GTOG, um, especially... Builds things and then usually builds things that get a little bit bigger. So, what about one of these things, but designed to carry four containers instead of just one? I think that would be really cool. It would be really cool to look at, anyway. 
Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that it wasn't actually edited. It was all done in one take. But um, it was quite fun. It was very fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Check out this thing in the link in the description down below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.